And now to another crash. This one's in western Iowa. One person's dead after a train and a semi collide. Pottawatomie County deputies were called to the crash near 510th Street and Rosewood Road just before 3. The impact sent multiple train cars off the rails. The KTV News Watch 7 Sarah Feely spent hours on the scene this afternoon. She's here now live. Sarah? Multiple agencies responded to that scene just outside of Walnut. They call it tragic. They also say they don't even know who was driving that truck because of the force of the impact and the fire. Railroad crossing lights flash near the intersection of 510th and Rosewood Road. The chimes still audible. It appears the rail signals were working at the time of the accident. They're still on as we speak. Pottawatomie County deputies say the signals were working when a semi truck driver barreled through the intersection despite a train running east on the tracks. The semi driver did not survive. It's approximately 100 to 150 yards off the intersection. Preliminarily, it looks like the train drugged the semi that far. First responders found the semi and the field around it on fire. They worked to get it out as quickly as possible, calling in water trucks to put out the inferno. Great response by the volunteer fire guys out here. Got on top of it, got on top of the fire right away. Investigators look for evidence around the charred shell of the semi, hoping to learn what led to the accident or who the driver was. That blaze making the investigation difficult in more ways than one. He is, uh, or she, I can't even tell you a sex for sure, but are still in the wreckage. It's going to take a while. Deputies say that semi was hauling a grain ethanol byproduct called brewer's grain that farmers often feed to cattle. They say the impact sent rail cars hurtling off the tracks. The sheriff's office saying this is any family's worst nightmare. They're sending their condolences to the family. Obviously, it's a pretty tragic accident. The medical examiner's office will be responsible for finding out the identity of the semi driver. Now that crash closed the intersection for hours and deputies launched a drone to map out the area. They hope to learn what caused that crash and contact the family.